Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to install Kubernetes cluster on Ubuntu 24.04. A Kubernetes cluster is a group of nodes that work together to run containerized applications. It provides a flexible and efficient way to manage and deploy containerized applications at scale. In this video tutorial, I will be using one master node also known as control plane and two worker nodes. In order to install Kubernetes cluster, make sure following things are in place. SSH enabled on each node. We need at least two CPUs and two GB of RAM, a local user with sudo privileges and internet connectivity. So let's get started. In interest of time, I have already prepared a set of steps and the instructions that I will refer in this tutorial. I will paste these steps and the instructions in the description of the video for your reference. Let's jump into the steps. The first five step is applicable for all the nodes. I have already taken the SSS session of my control node and the worker node. So this is my control node or the master node. This is my first worker node and this one is my second worker node. The first step is to set the host name and update the host file. So run these hostname ctl commands on the master node as well as worker nodes in order to set the host name and then use vi editor and add these lines in the etc host file. Second step is to disable swap and load kernel modules. So copy this command and run it on the worker as well as master nodes. Once the swap is disabled, load the following kernel modules. For that, run mode probe command. For permanent loading of these modules, create a file and add these modules. Next add the kernel parameters. For that we are creating this kubernetes.con file and we are adding this kernel parameters. Copy this command. Now run this ctl command hyphen hyphen system in order to make these changes into the effect. This command will add the kernel parameters on the fly. Third step is to install container runtime environment. So we have multiple container runtime like cryo, container d, docker. So in this tutorial, we are using container D. So first we will be installing the dependencies and then we will download the GPG key and set the repository and then we will install the container D using app command.
once the container d is installed configure the container d so that it start using system d c group for that we need to run these two commands okay these two commands now restart the container d service so that these changes comes into the effect run the systemctl command space restart container d just cross verify the status of container d perfect the service is active and it's up and running Next step is to add Kubernetes package repository. Kubernetes and its dependencies are not available in the default Ubuntu 24.04 app repositories. So we need to set its repository first. In order to set the repository, we need to specify the Kubernetes version. At the creating of this tutorial, Kubernetes 1.31 was present. So run this curl command first this command will download the gpg key for the kubernetes repository next run this echo command which will create a repository file and add this content to it In step 5, we will be installing the Kubernetes components like kubeadm, kubectl and kubectl. For that, we can use the apt commands. So, copy these two apt commands and paste it on each node. Next step is to initialize the Kubernetes cluster. So we will be initializing the Kubernetes cluster only from the master node. So run this kubeadm init space hyphen hyphen control plane hyphen endpoints is equals to the host name of your control node or the master node. In my case, So in my case, host name of my control plane is kts hyphen control hyphen notch. Hit enter. So this command will start pulling the required images in order to initialize the Kubernetes cluster. So once this command is executed successfully, we will get the set of instructions that how we can interact with the Kubernetes cluster and the commands to join the worker nodes to this cluster. As you can see in the output that it says our Kubernetes cluster has been initialized successfully. So in order to interact with the Kubernetes cluster using a regular user, so we need to run these commands on the control plane or the master node. So is it here? Okay, and you can see this command will be used to join the worker nodes to this cluster. So copy this command and go to the first worker node type sudo followed by this command. And hit enter. In the output I can see that this node has joined the cluster. So run the same command on the second worker node.
perfect this node helps also join the cluster now head back to the master node run kubectl get nodes we can see we have one control node and two worker nodes has joined the cluster but the status of these nodes are not ready so in order to make the status ready we need to install the calico network add-on plugin copy this command and paste it on the master node once the command is executed monitor the pod status from the cube system it will create a calico pods in the cube hyphen system namespace Oops. once the status of these pods are in running state then the status of our nodes in the cluster will become ready okay now check the uh, node status run the command kubectl get nodes next step is to test this cluster installation for that what we can do is we can uh, deploy an nginx based deployment and we'll expose it via node port and try to access that application using the node port let's create a demo app namespace first inside that namespace we'll create an nginx based deployment This command will create an nginx hyphen app deployment using the image nginx. It will create two replicas under the namespace demo hyphen app. Now check the status, kubectl. We can see the nginx app port are in running state. Next, expose this deployment using the node port. Run kubectl expose deployment followed by the deploy, deployment name. In our case, deployment name is nginx f, hyphen n is for namespace, type as node port, and the port is 80. So hit enter. kubectl get svc hyphen n this service is exposed on the port 31664 now open a local terminal and try to access this uh, application on this node port and we can use any of the worker ip and the command curl space http and then the IP address of any of the worker node followed by the node port. Hit enter. Great. I can see the home page of the Nginx web server. This means our application is accessible from uh, outside of the cluster. That's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have found these instructions useful and informative. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials like this. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.